Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a short evening ride on my Segway 9 Bot Max electric scooter here. So this is something I like to do at the end of a long day. It's just my way of decompressing. I just like to go for a nice ride and, uh, you know, just decompress, you know, after an end of a long day. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me. Now, I went ahead and purchased this chest mount off of Amazon, so I'm going to be testing it out on this video. Now, I do not have a GoPro or an action camera. I just have my smartphone. That's basically what I've been using for the start of this channel to record all my videos, unboxing videos, phone reviews, scooter unboxing, scooter reviews. That's what I've been using. Uh, and I just continue to use smartphones to run this channel to record all my content. We'll let this Tesla get out of the way here and then we'll start writing. Um, but yeah, so I got the chest mount. I am going to be recording this video on the LG V50 Thin Q. This is going to be 4K 60 frames per second. I'm not too sure how well it's going to do uh, when it comes to recording in, in the dark here, but we'll find out, you know, the type of. A quality will get now I got the chest mount on I got the LG V50 thin Q strapped to my chest so we're gonna take a look here at the type of quality mostly stabilization is what I'm looking at here this is kind of like a test run and um, we're gonna just kind of adjust the camera as we go I'm not too sure if it's positioned correctly where you're getting a good view I can't really see the camera for my angle but I'm hoping you know it's a pretty decent view and again I'm focusing on stabilization uh, with this recording here and also just kind of just going on a nice scooter right here um, in the city of San Dimas, I'm on Bonita Avenue, so we're going to be approaching the downtown San Dimas area. Uh, we got City Hall coming up on the right-hand side, so I think I'll pull into City Hall just to kind of adjust the camera here. And uh, I'll give you just a quick little shot here of the City Hall. So we got the driveway. I'm going to go ahead and pull into the driveway here. And again, I am riding the Segway 9 Bot Max. This is honestly... A fantastic scooter I have over 700 miles on this scooter and I haven't had any issues I'm going to do a full thorough review on the Segway scooter very very soon um, but let's go ahead and just pull into a parking spot right here I think we can park right here should be a good spot and this is the San Dimas City Hall they got a nice fountain as you can see right there is a camera focus we got the fountain right there and uh, yeah, I'm just going to kind of adjust the camera here. I got to clean my glasses also. And uh, yeah, so we're good to go here. So I want to make sure you also get a view of the uh, speedometer on the Segway 9 Bot Max as I'm riding. So again, I'm trying to, you know, find the different angles that are going to work good for recording these type of videos, the scooter ride along videos. But I'm passing the library right now. It's on the right hand side. Um, so this is like the parking lot of the library going 11 miles per hour here one thing I do enjoy about riding in the evening is there's pretty much like no cars around there's no people around you can just pretty much scoot and ride freely you don't really have to worry about pedestrians or cars or anything like that um, but yeah so let me go ahead and exit out of the driveway here of the library so that little bump hopefully um, the stabilization work pretty good there uh, these roads are not the best either so there's a lot of cracks in the road uh, I feel a lot of the bumps in the road so hopefully the camera is not super shaky I've tried using bike mounts in the past and then just mounting my smartphone on the bike mount and the footage just comes out terrible it just it's just like the videos just jumping all over the place when I'm when I'm recording so very unusable uh, video recordings that I got with just regular bike mounts um, So I'm hoping with this one with the chest mount that the stabilization is a lot better and My body pretty much absorbs the impact and I can pretty much control Like the chest mount so it's just like having a GoPro strapped to your chest except it's a smartphone And if this uh, chest mount works out really good, I'll make a review on it if, if you know, maybe I'll make a review on it um, but I basically I got it from Amazon. I opened up the packaging it, I messed around with it for like 20 minutes adjusting the straps just kind of making it more comfortable to hold uh, on me and the phone 
but um, so far I think it is working pretty good. We're gonna make a right hand turn here, going down Bonita now, and uh, this is a nice little area here. There's all types of little shops. You got a Starbucks coming up on the uh, left hand side. There's like a Dollar Tree, a vape shop to the right hand side. Himalayan food to the right as well. As you can see, I'm going 19 miles per hour here and i can reach that 90 miles per hour speed with no problem on the segway 9 bot max I, and and i'm 200 pounds so i'm a 200 pound rider and i can reach those 19 miles per hour uh perfectly fine segway doesn't struggle at least for me to reach that 19 miles per hour and i know this is rated for like 18.6 miles per hour this front light actually works pretty well also i'm not i don't have a secondary or third party light attached i'm just using the standard light and uh, yeah, so we're at the uh, Chevron gas station here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the uh, gas station area and just kind of keep scooting around here. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice area and you can see the speed there. I got a full charge when I left. I always, you know, leave on a full charge just because I don't know, you know, maybe I just want to do a short ride or sometimes I want to go further out. It just depends. I mean, I just have so much fun when I am riding uh, this scooter, you know, I just feel so free and I just feel like, you know, I, I just want to keep going and going. You know, that's another thing about riding these electric scooters, you know, they're super therapeutic, you know, you just feel so good. It's like a boost of serotonin once you get on the scooter and you just start going. Um, that was one of the main reasons I started getting into these electric scooters. So when the cost of fuel, gasoline hit like $7 a gallon here in California, I knew I needed to do something different. I mean, I was making, do you see that RV is just passed by with like half the back missing? That's crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, um, you know, I was doing like Uber Eats and DoorDash and I was using my vehicle and the cost of gas just skyrocketed. It was like $7 and that's pretty much around the time where I figured I'm going to start making um, Uber Eats and DoorDash deliveries on my electric scooter in Pasadena. I also watched another YouTuber named Yogi Steve. Um, if you haven't checked his channel out, definitely check it out. High quality Uber Eats, DoorDash, food delivery videos on his electric scooter in Hollywood. He makes some really good content. I'll link his channel in the description below of this video. Um, but yeah, so, you know, and once I started riding my scooter, man, I got hooked and I, I, I haven't stopped, you know, and you'll definitely see more content, like I said, on electric scooters. Hopefully I'll get some more in uh, very, very soon. I'm going to be working on the Ice & Wheel S9 max scooter that i have i did the unboxing video of that if you haven't seen it i'll link the uh the video in the description below of this video so you can go check that out so i'm gonna be working on that review next but into this parking lot here we got a little liquor store right there little pizza spot and then turning we got the albertson's grocery store right there but hopefully uh this video did turn out pretty good with this chest mount i'm gonna head home and review the footage and if it did turn out good then mission accomplished this is what i've been looking for because again i wasn't really gonna buy a gopro or an action camera i want to but i just don't got the funds to buy it right now i gotta wait maybe once income tax comes in and i got extra money then i'll upgrade but i'm okay using my smartphone like i said i've been using my smartphone since the start of this channel i do all the editing on the smartphone so i'm comfortable using it i just need to find an accessory that i can attach the phone to as i'm riding the scooter which will provide that good stabilization all right, so all right, everybody. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for joining me on this ride along. I'm gonna be making more of these in the future. I'm gonna be going to different places, different locations, and just recording on the scooter and just sharing with you the sights and what's all around. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos. This is Paul Tech. I'll talk to you in the next one.